Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry and I want to tell you a story. Because I have a chronic illness, I monitor my wellness. Um, I monitor what takes away from it. I monitor what gives more to it. I monitor when um, my mobility is great and I monitor when it's not so great. I monitor when um, I have a, an asthma attack. I go three steps back and I figure out what it is. And I monitor when I get a migraine. I monitor if I feel tired. I go, what is it? I go three steps back. What is it? What did I do? What did I say? What did I eat? What did I? What was I thinking? What was I watching? I look at all of those things. And this week I learned I get physically sick from complaining. <laughs> Not necessarily complaining, but you know, that kind of picking apart at things that we can sometimes do about a thing where we want to dissect uh, what wasn't good rather than looking at what is good. And, and I wondered why would that have that kind of physiological um, impact on me? I actually think it probably has that on all of us. We just haven't paid close enough attention. And the more I paid attention to it, the more fascinating it became, which was like, just stop now. But if seeing joy gives you energy, deciding what does not surely would take it away. It just makes sense. This morning I came and sat down to tell a story and I smelled something and I was like, that Jack, our little dog, he's a thousand years old and, you know, he's doing the best he can do. But I looked down and sure enough, he had come right to where I sit, not to any of the other spaces and decided to leave his turds <laughs> at my feet. And... I was thinking about this, this thought. And so instead of thinking, oh my goodness, and Tima needs to get her dog and because he becomes her dog when he does that. And all of these things, it was like, no, clean it up. Jack is old. He's doing the best he can do. And isn't it beautiful that he's still doing the best that he could do? And it had a different impact on my thought around it, about it. Try it today. Try to look closely when you feel energized and look closely at when you don't. Take three thoughts back and see what it was. What were you thinking about? What were you listening to? What were you eating? What were you, how were you moving? What was going on? Who were you with? I love you and I know we're going to get there. We have work to do on ourselves first. I love you.